Hey everyone and welcome back to VFX Vibe once again. So in today's video we are going to see how we can use lens flare node inside Nuke. For this lens flare we don't need any external plugin or any kind of gizmo. I'm going to use by default flare node and I'm going to make multiple styles lens flare inside new so i hope this video is going to be a very interesting so without wasting any time let's get started okay as you can see over here in last comp we did some glow and diffusion and a lens dirt and multiple things we did now in this video i'm going to show you how to use lens flare so lens flare is a lens property wherever there is a bright source of light flare will generate right so in this case multiple things might happen suppose that i'm having this this will generate flare as well so what i'm going to do i'm going over here and probably i will start using my flare over here i will use my flare after this after earth might be that will be good let me make some space and i'm going to use a node called flare so first thing first, you need to understand what kind of flare you want. So I'm having this reference for flare and you can see I'm having a big ring, probably greenish and purplish kind of stuff. I'm having this and uh, multiple layers I'm having. So probably we'll try to create few more uh, lens flare as well, right? So you, you can easily see I'm having this lens flare. This is our uh, light source and I'm having this kind of flare. So let's create some flares as per our references right so what i'm going to do mainly i'm going to follow this reference so first thing first let's create this flare so i'll go over here and in flare i'm going to use presets so this is pretty basic i'm going over here and might be many bright will help us to create that kind of effect so i'll go to flare one more time and after that what i will do i will directly go over here and i'll make some more space and i will add a merge node and i will merge my flare on top of everything not everything on earth and my nebula and i will definitely position it over here right so i'm having a multiple streak so i don't want let's put it one over here and let's double click on flare so over here i'll go to multi because whatever i'm using in preset multi will help you to do sub level of editing and flare will do global kind of editing right so i'll go to multi and i have repeat might be i'll use uh, four so if you can see i'm having this thing four uh, might be seven or six seven will be good and also i'm going to use might be fall off so little diffuse kind of stuff i'm using if if you want a very sharp kind of thing i can use it but i'm going to use little diffused kind of stuff also if i want to change angle i can do it but in this case i don't want uh, also i'm having one more option called anamorphic so if i'm going to do this i can squeeze it so i'll do this and now if I'm going to see, it's looking pretty fine to me. It's looking too big. So probably I will go over here and this size will be global size. So I'm going to reduce a little and might be I can use screen blending mode, right? So this is something what we are having. Can you see that? Also, let's go over here and analyze. let's create this streak one more time. Okay, so uh, again, one more thing I can do. Uh, probably I'm having my orangish kind of effect as well. So if needed, you can go over here anytime you can change colors. But uh, I think this is uh, working fine for me. Again, I'm going to take another flare node and I'll connect it with it. And same way I'm going to Put it over here again this is too big so this time i'm going to use preset might be bright so basically bright is nothing but it's it's a, a bright stuff like this right like this so this is my flare if you can see and this is bright right so might be i can uh rename it like flare it's a core something and might be this will be streak right so i'll go over here and be in flare i'm going 
to use my radius this is my something you can you can see i can increase this ring and if i'm going over here this will work overall right so middle inner middle and outer right so in this case uh, what i'm going to do i'm going over here and i'm going to increase anamorphic by might be uh, 20 like this if you can see a little more like this yeah why not so it's looking pretty nice if you can see and if i'm going over here so i'm having this thing and if i need it might be i can change multiplier or something might be so how big or how long i want i can do it okay so i think it's working pretty fine to me and if i'm going over here yeah much better uh, if i want i can come anytime and, and i can tweak these things so probably i will i will uh, do it later and now i am going to create uh, this effect right so let's do that so that effect i need overall so probably i will go over here and over here i'm going to use another flare node and in this flare node what i'm going to do i'm going to use preset again multipenta multipenta is basically this thing and also i'll go over here and might be i can lower down repeat to five or six might be so i'll have a lesser amount also what i want i want uh, every element to come closer so i'll go over here and in this thing i can do random offset closer like this might be this so what will happen it will automatically come closer and uh, over here if i'm going to reduce or change my offset what will happen it will create global offset but what i want i want it to be here and also i will increase the uh, size like this and i want it to be circular might be i can go over here and corners i'll do zero and also i will go over here and i will change my this thing the ring color or uh, somewhat like purple or what kind of this and also i'll go to inner color might be a little red or orange i can use anamorphic later on i can change color and also i'll use size like this okay so after tweaking multiple things i am having my flare uh, something like this and if i'm going to take a merge node overall and i'm going to connect this like this and if i'm going to see i'm having something like this if you think this is too much i'll go over here and might be i'll reduce my mix and also if we can see over here i am having something streaky streaky kind of stuff green might be i can have a green color so i'm having green little greenish blue so you can again play with the colors and all also i'm going to take a noise node and i will do this might be i can scale something like this right and i will increase gain and gamma so that i can create some contrast and also i will have this thing might be octave i can change something i can change more variation and what i'll do i will take a copy node and i will copy my red channel to my motion or backward forward u and green to forward v okay so what will happen i can use this data to distort this thing so might be i can take a i distort node and i'll connect it i'm not sure it will work or not but something will happen might be i can change uv node to rgba not rgb i am going to use forward and uh, uh, my bad so if you can see as i'm going to use forward what what's happening i'm having little offset kind of stuff and might be i can take a blur node just to break down something or diffuse something can you see now i'm having streaks so if needed i can go over here and i distort 
might be I, I can increase the, the thing and if you can see I'm having similar kind of effect and yes I'm having this data so need not to worry might be I will take a scale and I will do little scaling not much little scaling something like that and if I'm going to see now if you can see I'm having good amount of lens flare also what I can do I can take uh, another flare now it, it's all up to you how you are going to work with so I'm going to connect this and this time I'm going to not over here I'm not going to connect this because I don't want distortion and all right so I will merge this thing over here right and this time I'm going to use a preset called multi penta and might be I'll go over here and I will increase brightness might be I'll go over here and I will increase size and if needed I can change little color somewhat and might be I can change multiplier something like that okay and uh, if needed I'll, I'll go over here and if I can do this I can if I can see yes it's coming pretty nicely can you see that and if needed might be I will do this and if needed I can I can animate this like from here to here little animation can you see that so I think it's going pretty good and yes my lens flare is coming pretty nicely right so I think you have an in-depth idea how to use flare node to create multiple flares layer right so I think that's it for today's video and I hope you have a fair idea how to use flare node inside nuke and by using these techniques you can create your own lens flares so if you think that this video is helping you please don't forget to like this video share this video and if you're new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe with this said this is vfx5 signing off have a good day